Hi everyone and welcome to another Makeup Monday segment. So today we're going to try some of our newest products that are out, our luminizers, as well as our setting powder, and a little trick to contouring. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to shake up my liquid foundation. I'm actually going to mix it in with my luminizer. I wanted to show you my side of my face where I have some blemishes to show you how well this liquid foundation covers. So I'm mixing the liquid foundation with our brand new cream luminizer. And I'm using the color, it's a rose gold color by the name of Lustrous. And I'm mixing it on my palm of my hand, the back of my hand. And I'm using my bigger blending bud to apply it since my liquid foundation brush was still wet at the time. And look at that amazing coverage. Like look at how it cleared up and really nice to conceal that blemish. And what this luminizer does, it leaves a nice, dewy, glowful finish. Unlike the liquid foundation, which leaves a more matte finish, the cream luminizer leaves a nice, dewy effect. All right, so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of the cream luminizer on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put it just lightly on my tear duct. Again, the color I'm using is lustrous to kind of bring it out a little bit more and to help it have a nice, beautiful glow. All right, so I'm getting the Splurge Cream Shadow out in the color Prow, which is a nice, beautiful chocolate. And I'm gonna use my bigger blending butt, and I'm actually going to use this to contour. So instead of using my contouring cream, I am legit using a Splurge Cream Eyeshadow onto my face. That's how very versatile our products are. And I'm using my bigger blending bun to do this step. So I apply in and then I blend it out nice and smooth. And I'm going to use a smaller blending bun for my concealer. So contouring pretty much means, well shadowing means, making certain parts of your face appear slimmer. So that's like your nose, your forehead area, and your chin area. So just apply it and blend, 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 blend it all in. And since I already have some highlight on, I don't have to apply anymore. And again, the color I use is the color Proud. I'm actually using a lot of splurge all over my face. I'm using Faithful on my eyebrows, Victoria's on my brow bone, and the new one, Magnificent, as my eyeliner. All right, so now I'm getting out some concealer in the color Organza. And you wanna make sure you apply it in an upside down triangle to lift your face up instantly. And I'm only gonna use this underneath my eyes because I already have pretty much highlight all over my face. You don't need much, as you can see, very little goes such a long way and I did apply a little bit down the bridge of my nose as well and again the color I use is organza which is three shades lighter I'm getting out one of my new brushes that just came out the powder concealer brush, and I'm going to use it with our setting powder, our translucent setting powder. It has a nice little mesh inside to keep your product from falling out. And just look at that side of my face, how the setting powder pretty much accentuated my face and is going to help set my makeup all day long and it gave it a nice matte type of finish. Now make sure you tap the brush on into the setting powder to get rid of any loose powders that you might have. Just look at how flawless that is. And so now I'm going to use our brand new luminizer in the powder form. And I'm going to use the color Iridescent, which is a prismatic white. And I'm going to use it with the brand new fan brush. So in comparison, I'm comparing my Sephora brush to my Unique brush, and you can see the Sephora one is slightly smaller than the Unique one. So I'm gonna be using the Unique one. And we're just going to highlight parts of my face that the sun touches naturally, like the 
apples on my cheeks. Just look at how beautiful that is. Down the bridge of my nose. A little bit in the forehead area, underneath the brow bone. And we're going to use the concealer side of that brush just to put a little bit on my nose. And now we're putting a dab of the highlighter in the center of my lips just to create a more fuller lip effect. And voila, we are done. Love the brand new luminizers. I love the brand new setting powder. I love all the brushes. And look at how versatile our splurge cream eyeshadows are. I really hope you enjoyed everything. So thumbs up if you like, heart if you love, wow if you're just impressed. And thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and like my Facebook page so you never miss another amazing tutorial.